Oh, hi, Stuart. Good to see you. How you doing? Very well, thank you. Good. Obviously managed to avoid that unwanted record on Saturday, which is which is a huge positive. How pleased were you with that? What seemed like a much improved performance against MK? Yeah, delighted to, like I said uh, in the after interview, that you don't want that on your CV. And it's something that we knew that was coming up and it's not a record that you wanted to be part of. Uh, but the lads performed to a very high level and I thought we probably, when you watch the game back again, uh, I think we deserve three points really, overall on chances created. So, yeah, it was a really good performance against a very good team. Yeah, you side battled on right to the end, coming back from behind twice, some real fight and you know, dogged determination. Would you say that was maybe the best performance so far in your tenure? I think you look at a lot of games when you play MK Dons and their similar philosophy to us, it's, it's easy to see the intensity from us because all of our pressing is going forward. I think what you've seen in our early stages and what you probably see a lot in League Two, 90 to 95% of the teams want to put it in your box. So a lot of the intensity is sprinting back towards your own goal. So you get that really good feeling when someone nicks the ball high up the pitch and takes it off someone and then goes towards goal rather than sprinting back and nicking it off of someone. So I think the intensity since we've been here has been really good in all the games. Uh, but it was a really good feeling when you watch that game back, the intensity and the tempo of the game and obviously the way we controlled the game with the ball against a team that... Uh, a kind of the informed team at the top of the division since Mike's taken charge. So yeah, look, it was really, it's really pleasing, and and I'm delighted for the lads to actually get a little bit of a reward for their performance level. Obviously, I feel that we did deserve three points, but to get the reward of getting a point, it would have been devastating to not get uh, anything from the game again. Does it maybe raise the bar in terms of not just performance level, but in terms of being able to to sort of grind out a result as well? Yeah, I think. You need that resilience in this league uh, to be able to grind results out. Uh, but I look at if you look at the goals that they scored, there wasn't no real individual errors. I think what's happened recently is that we've conceded some terrible goals through individual errors that deflates everyone. That's the fans, that's the players on the pitch, and it is deflating. And then it's hard to come back from that at times. I think on Saturday when uh, Max Dean scores the goal he scores, he's kind of whipped it in the top corner and it's out of nothing, even though we're in control of the game and look like we're going to score first. Because uh, it, it's a very good goal, I don't think it deflates us as much, and then we can go again and, and find that energy. So, yeah. And we're back to back home games this week. That does that provide a good a good springboard? Would you say you know to really work to work from building on a point from MK going into another home game? No, definitely. Uh, it's going to be a very tough test again. Harrogate are in in good form now. They've changed their formation from 4-2-3-1 to similar to us now, 3-4-3. So they've picked up and picked up some really positive results. They won 5-1 over the bank holiday on the Monday. So uh, they're full of confidence. It's going to be a really tough test, uh, but it's a, it's a challenge we're really looking forward to. And look, we're, we're waiting and we're going to work so hard to try and get that three points for our first home win. Well, exactly that. You know, as, as much as the performance was good against MK and had a very good point, you, you, you know, you haven't had a home win yet since you've been in charge seven games. Is that is that something that you feel sort of lingers above you? Is that something that you're desperate to ever turn to get rid of that sort of thing above you? I wouldn't say desperate. I'm desperate for the fans to see a home win again because they deserve it. The support, the way they got behind the boys uh, on Monday was incredible. When we went one nil down. The ground was so loud and so positive and I think that's what helped us get back on the front foot again because they knew the fans were behind them and they've been incredible. Uh, so that helps massively. Now we just want to make sure that we can deliver three points for them so they can really enjoy a home, a home win. Kevin Scott back amongst the squad again now. What's he been like around the, around the camp the past few weeks as he's, as he's getting himself ready and now obviously back amongst the squad again and, and might be seeing him against Harrogate? Yeah, look, he's a bubbly character. He's good to have back about. Uh, he's got loads of enthusiasm and energy about the place and he, he's a top finisher when you see him in training close up uh, he's a really clinical finisher so look, it's really good to have him back about we've just got to make sure uh, that we manage his minutes he's been out for a hell of a long time but look we're really excited to have him back and be working with him <clears throat> Starting with Harrogate at least for now every one of the five teams left to play have still got something to play for whether that be trying to get sneak into the playoffs automatic still or whether it's avoiding relegation. How important is that when you're going into them knowing that, that the team that you're playing have got something really still to play for that means that you're going to have to really match them and be at your best? Look, we have standards at this football club that we want to keep and, and keep them very high. So every game we go into, no matter what, we want to win games of football. Uh, so we've got to make sure we keep our standards high and, and try and get three points in every game that we play, no matter what 
situation other teams are in, we've just got to focus on ourselves and uh, make sure that we try and deliver three points. That's all for me. Good luck. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you, Adam. Hi, that's Stuart. Um, firstly, Harrogate just obviously come off the back of beating Gillingham 5-1. Can that be a tough time to face a side after such a dominant win? Yeah, I think you're full of confidence when you've scored five goals and, like you say, they've only conceded one. Uh, like I said, they are in, in good form. Uh, recently, they've changed their structure site slightly and they've kind of found a, a formula to what kind of fits their players the best. They play with lots of high energy, uh, which we're going to have to match. Uh, but we just got to, we always focus on ourselves. I think if we're on our game and you see on Monday, if we can play and perform to that level, uh, then we're a match for anyone in this division. I'm sure you've seen uh, a few bits and bobs of that match. Uh, they would force the errors from Gillingham. Uh, and obviously you're a side that like to play out from the back. How do you plan on ironing out those individual errors that you mentioned? Because obviously this is a side where they'll look to keep provoking those so they can punish you. Yeah, we've got to make sure our structure's right in different phases of play to play through the lines or play beyond the press. Look, we will have a game plan. We've watched them inside out. We know exactly in what way they press and how they want to get after us. So we've got to make sure that we're very good at what we do. And at times we might need to miss that press out. And obviously, with them having such an aggressive press, are you looking at getting beat in that first wave of press so you can beat three, four or five men all in one go with a few passes through the, through the breaking the line? We'll have different ways of beating their press. I don't want to give too much about exactly how we're going to give it away because it could help them uh, set a different kind of press up. But look, we'll assess it. We've assessed it now. We know how they press teams and get after teams. So we've just got to make sure that we're very good at what we do. And if we're good at what we do, We'll break through that press. And obviously, the fight we saw from your game in the three-all with that late equaliser, is that something that you set as a minimum that you want to see from your side? Is that a passion and hunger to keep going from start to finish? No, definitely. And I think that that's where you get your rewards. If you go right to the end, to the 95th or 96th minute, you get your rewards. And if you look late on as well, Maka pulls a shot. And Dids is so close to tapping in, so we were very close to getting the winner as well. We've got to keep going to the end because you could just football turn so quickly. Goals change game, uh, so we've got to keep working hard all the way to the end of a game of football. And lastly, does this game kind of feel like a little mini final in terms of them being a direct rival for playoffs? So a loss here could be quite uh, punishing on you, your chances of, of hitting the playoffs because Kedwin, Kedwin mentioned earlier that that's something that he's looking at. Yeah, like I think why it's still mathematically, you're always aiming for that. You're always aiming high. You've got to keep aiming high. So, look, we go one game at a time, like I've always said. This is the next team in front of us that are in good form. They're in and around it as well. Uh, we're at home and, like I said, we want to try and deliver three points. And if we can do that, we'll go on to the next game after.